Ailey and I want to say thanks so much to our patrons. We really appreciate your support in helping make Elder Dragon hijinks a thing that will continue for as long as we can play Casual Ridiculous Commander. Thanks again, patrons. Elder Dragon hijinks is proudly sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. Check them out and use code ALIASV to get 5% off your order. For our Canadian viewers, check out face-to-face -face games for your singles and sealed product and be sure to use code ALIASV at checkout for 5% off. We're also sponsored by our friends at Moxfield.com, the best deck building site on the internet for your Magic the Gathering collection. The show is also made possible by EDH Rec and their sister site, Commander's Herald. EDH Rec is one of the best resources you can have as a Commander player. Commander's Herald is their article-focused site for Commander where you can find more content, more insight, and some fun articles along the way. Another awesome sponsor is UltraPro. For all your accessory needs, visit ultrapro.com forward slash alias V. Don't forget code alias V at checkout for 5% off. Last but not least, thanks to our sponsor, Alter Sleeves. You can find them at altersleeves.com. Get amazing art upgrades for your cards and for your decks to personalize them as you like. Everybody, hello and welcome to another episode of Elder Dragon Frickin' Hijinks. I'm back to giving it a middle name. I'm Ailey, hi. I'm Olivia, hi. Today we have wonderful friends of our show. We have Chase, aka Mana Curves, and a personal favorite, Jimothy from the Spike Feeders. We're our sea buddies now, and you he are, yeah. dunks on me all the time because he can and he's really good at it, so. He is good at the dunks. I mean, if he wasn't a magic <laughs> content creator, there would be a the basketball career for him. He's also very tall. He is. I, I met him at Magic 30, actually. And he is exactly as tall as I expected him to Everybody be. Everybody thinks I'm much taller than I actually am. I do not translate as five foot three. And then people meet me and I'm like, hi. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what's funny, though, is I'm taller than you. We are off track here, you 100%. Are. But you could definitely lift me. 100%. God damn, you are strong. So don't mess with Olivia, even though she's smaller than I'm most me. people. <laughs> oh, anyway, goodness. in this game, yeah. let's go mess with Olivia and check out the guests and their decks. Hi, everybody. My name is Chase, and today I'm going to be playing Sisse Weatherlight Captain. This is an all secret layers deck. So every single card, even the basic lands, are a secret layer. It's curvy, it's, it's pringly, it's pretty. We're going to see what it does. What's up, Spikes? Jim here coming at you from the Spike Feeders World Headquarters. Today, I am playing Tor Waki and Obosh as a companion. This deck has a little bit of a, a neat little gimmick to it. Every single card in the deck is a one drop, not just odd, like Obosh would suggest. Uh, it's a Spell Slinger deck. I'm looking to cast Lightning Bolts and amplify the damage by a whole lot. So let's see how it goes. Today, I am playing Liliana Heretical Healer. This side of it. Friends, it's different. There's more lands in it now. It can cast spells. It's not as hard on the Lily theme to the point of being detrimental to me. I can do stuff now, and none of it is nice. And I'm playing everybody's favorite angel horror, Atraxa, Praise's voice. But I'm not using her for her fancy pants abilities, really, because I want to anti-proliferate. I am playing Saga's Dot deck with a bunch of ways to remove counters of permanence. So if I can get a couple chapters to trigger a couple extra times, I'll be pretty darn pleased. Let's rock and roll. Let's roll some dice. I rolled a three. Fifteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. Eight. Is it two weeks in a row that I go first? I am powerful. I think I need to make you start building your own decks again. I think this will be my last one. Um, as fun as these decks are, I miss my other ones. <laughs> I haven't played them in so long. <laughs> yeah, I get it. All right, everyone good to go? Yep. Yeah, let me just reshuffle here. Sure. All right. I'll draw. Scalding Tarn, I'll crack it. I'll lose a life and go fetch a mountain or an Island. It's my turn. I fetched a blood crypt. It is tapped. I will play this incredible proxy swamp and pass. Ooh, <laughs> nice. I will draw a card. Oh, I like your sleeves. They're so cute. <laughs> They're nice, hey? I got them from Ultra Pro. Nice. Oh, hey. <laughs> See it? I did the thing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play this Seer Step Pathway <laughs> on its red side and cast Strike It Rich. I would like to make one treasure. Hmm. 
And then I will pass the turn. Let's attempt to do something. Uh, I'm going to play this here island. And I'm going to quickly serum visions and then pass the turn. I will untap. Raw. Let's set up for some dumb stuff. That sounds fun. No. I will shock in. No, let me. <laughs> We're going to. I let you do let everything. Let me feel powerful. <laughs> when have I ever countered one of your spells? Maybe once. See, you can't even think about it, so it wasn't no. even that consequential. I mean, yeah. come on, we're almost I fifty do episodes things. deep. I don't remember every game. I let you do. I let you do stuff. I don't remember every game either. <laughs> <laughs> Sanctum Weaver. Uh, this little guy is yeah. gonna add mana for me, where X is the number of enchantments I control. So currently, who knows? I wanted to cosplay that so bad, and then I realized I was gonna have to get like a suit custom painted. It's so pretty though. <laughs> I could just wear so much tool, and no one can see my face. <laughs> I'll play the snow covered swamp. <laughs> it's an old Windows one. I love it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I'll tap two for a jet medallion and pass. Okay. I'll untap. Draw a card. Oh, am I the smartest man alive? I think so. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to <laughs> just just like never punished on this. Bold I'm gonna proclamations. Cast, I'm going to cast Magmatic Insight, pitching this swamp to draw two cards. You aren't ever punished. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> then I'm going to play this other snow covered swamp that I definitely didn't just top deck to enable that. <laughs> um, punished. And I'm going to cast this mana vault oh do we just keep going i think we just keep yeah. going right Jeez. yeah i'm gonna so chase do you know about this deck no i don't it's all one drops <laughs> oh yeah okay well, always, always has something to do okay every card is the one drop then i'm gonna cast explorer's scope off of the treasure and i'll pass the turn okay all right this is one of back to follow this deck is so it's so damn smart i feel <laughs> Tough act to fall, it's fine. I don't feel intimidated. Um, I'm going to play the Sacred Foundry tapped. I'm going to lovingly pass the turn. I lovingly accept the turn. Untap. Thank you. Oh. There is a saga. This card always confuses me, but it is a land enchantment. It adds banal for me. It does so something on its second one. Oh, it makes a construct. Yes. Uh, and then I can search for an artifact card with zero or one cost and put on the battlefield. We're on chapter one. I'm going to add two white, green. Colorless, whatever. Battle for Britagard and Triumph of Gerard. The Battle for Britagard, I'll do that one first. This one says create a 1 1 human creature token. So I'll do that. And then I make an elf, and then I choose any number of artifact tokens and or creature tokens with different names for each of them. Create a token that's a copy. Cool. And then Triumph of Gerard. Hello, Gerard. Put a 1 1 counter on creature with the greatest power. Okay, so that one first, I actually have a creature. <laughs> We smart. Wait, where'd yes. Sanctum Weaver go? Oh, yeah. She's she's Lord. She can give her counters. But I'm not going to be hitting anything with her. Yeah, but and it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's always nice if she can stay alive. True, but she's a zero two, so I can't put it on her oh. anyway. It has okay. to be the greatest, so I'll still let the one gotcha. I want to hit with get the counter. So what are you? You're a warrior. All right, I'm doing stuff. There are now one, two, three, four. You make Mormon off me next turn. I will sick go. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tap and draw. I will add a new swamp to the mix. I will tap a swamp for Waste Knot. Oh, goody. That's, Don't that's worry, stressful. it's fine. Cost reduction in Waste Knot is not what I would call fine. It's fine. <laughs> and then I'll play Liliana. <clears throat> oh, good. Whenever an opponent discards a creature card, I get a 2-2 black zombie. If they discard a land card, I get two black. If they discard a non-creature, non-land card, I draw a card. Right. A problem. I don't have a discard enabler. You're fine. There's not even one in my hand. I'm just trying to be smart. Uh, I won't attack. I'll pass. Okay. I'll untap. I'll draw a card. And I think I'm just going to cast my commander. This is Torwaki the Younger. Uh, this card has a lot of text on it for being an uncommon, so bear with me. It's a 3-3 reach lifelink. If another source I control would deal non-combat damage to a permanent or player, it deals that much plus one instead. And then whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell, Torwaki the Younger deals two damage to any target. So it adds damage to my other non-combat damage, and then it also does its own damage whenever I cast an instant or sorcery. And then I'm just gonna pass the turn. All right. Card of the cards, Yugi, you failed me. That really hurts. I'll play a swamp and I will take a page from Jim's book and I will go ahead and cast my commander. 
We're going to cast Sissay Weatherlight Captain. Sissay's the go find your friends one, right? Yeah, she, she just goes mm-hmm. finds a bunch of legendary pals. I have a love-hate relationship with this card just because of the decks that it's been used in. It's like, I'm going to go do all this degenerate. It's like, just go find fun friends. Like, I don't know, Gargle. Just the vanilla frog. I'm very limited, though. Everything in here is a secret lair, so I can only get... So I'm very mm. limited. That is what fine by me. Right. What I can yeah. snatch, yeah. Here's yeah. a saga up to two. Oh, yes. Thank you. Another counter on this bud. And then I make a little elf friend. And that's all my triggers. Yes. Hang on. I think I'm going to respond to... Let's see. I'll respond to one of the triggers. It won't matter which one. I'm not going to interfere with the triggers themselves. Mm-hmm. I am going to... What's What do people have in graveyards? Anything in graveyards right now? Nothing. No Just yards. a serum building dawn. The serum visions? Okay. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm going to pay two life and cast Surgical Extraction targeting mm. the Scalding Tarn. That'll trigger okay. Torwaki and deal two damage to the Sanctum Weaver. Do my Weaver? Yes. Ooh. This is in your... I guess it's at the beginning of your pre-combat main. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, of the... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so those things trigger in your at the beginning of your pre-combat main, right? So the surgical extraction costs me two to cast it. Yeah. It triggers Torwaki. The Torwaki deals two damage to the Sanctum Weaver, and then because Torwaki has lifelink, I'll gain that two life back. Rude. Hmm. I cannot Clever. do nothing about that, but that's fair. You can you can activate your Sanctum Weaver if you want to use the I mana. I could. May, may I have the construct, depending on when oh, you right ahead. did that? Yeah. Okay. So, so I will float some mana. Using that, I will make... My little 1-1 one, one buddy. Well, he's actually a zero, 0 but he gets 1-1 one, one for each artifact. I don't have to keep track of enchantments anymore. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> he's just making you do less work. It's fine. Yeah, yes. it's a mercy, you know? Yeah, it's a it's, mercy. I that was a, that was a friendly play. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm going to play this here, Tundra. So I have white, blue, green. I have all the colors now. Yay. So, okay, now, I'm not going to be able to do it for these enchantments. But the one thing about this deck, besides being all sagas, is taking counters off of them. So let's pay three for a Ferropede. It's unblockable, and when it deals combat damage, I can remove a counter from a permanent. So my mission in this game is to not that's kill actually really smart, is to just keep sagaing. Yeah, that's my objective, just trying to make these counters stay. Ferropede next turn will have some fun. And I, you know what? I'm not even going to hit anybody as those creatures Are you okay? I'm fine. I don't think Good. you are. <laughs> That's my turn. Right. So I will play Cabal Coppers. I will then tap three. Thanks, Jet Medallion. All star. Play Grave Pact. Uh. Jim, I only have one creature, so don't make me, don't kill Liliana and nothing happens. <laughs> I refuse. I decline. <laughs> okay, well, Grave Pact. Have fun getting rid of an enchantment in Rakdos. Don't tell me how to live my life. I won't. I would never. I'll pass. You have no idea how high I can fly. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I'm going to untap. This is a little sad. This is like an unintended interaction in this deck. Manavolt, because it's tapped and I can't untap it, would normally deal me <laughs> one damage. Torwaki adds one to it, so I'm going to take two. <laughs> I'll draw a card. The title of this week's game, You Did This to Yourself. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to... I kind of just want to kill Olivia's creature, but then my Torwaki goes away. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to play this Dragon's Rage Channeler. Mm. And then I'm going to cast an Imperial Seal. So that'll allow me to search for a card, put it on top of my library, and lose two life. That triggers Torwaki. Mm. And I think I'm going to deal two damage to Olivia's Dome. That and that will sense. gain me two life. <laughs> How do I ever beat Grave Pack? <laughs> Go ahead and kill Liliana and you can kill Torwaki. It'll be great. No, they can kill my commander. Wait, okay, no. I might. That's not how that works. Never Don't mind. Jim to Liliana. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I pay attention to what cards say. Hey. I'm like probably just getting. So the problem is, again, this deck is 50% absolute dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, like like draft staff that you have to read because you have never looked at it before. Right. And then the other half is like overtuned bullshit that should have never been a one drop, like Skull Clamp and Dragon's Rage Channel. <laughs> right. 
Resolving Imperial Seal. I'm going to put this card on top of my library. And uh, Torwaki can attack. I don't know that I want to. I'm just going to pass. All right. Let's see what we're doing over here. Our best, probably. Or maybe not. <gasps> the answer's not, but it's still a cool thing to draw. We'll play this here, Planes. And then I will play uh, this gorgeous, gorgeous soul Ring. Mm. That's a good soul oh, Ring. Oh, I love that one. I yeah. love this one, too. It's my favorite Very soul good. Ring art ever. I am going to tap one, two, three, and four to play Toothy. Ooh. And I'm going to search my library for Pier and put him into my hand. It's about to say, go. what um, is that? <laughs> yeah. That is toothy. Look toothy. at how terrifying he is with all those teeth. It's a little, it's a little unsettling. Sisse, I'm going to put a dice above Sisse to represent who, her Woobergness. Currently, she's just a. Uh, <laughs> so she's just a 3-3. Three, three. I'm just going to go and search and there's Pier. And put Pierre into my hand. And then I'm going to pass the turn. <laughs> Alrighty. Untap. Draw. Not sure how I have to do this, but I want to make another construct first before this goes bye-bye. Yeah, you can respond to the triggers. Yeah. I'm going to respond to it because it'll go to chapter three and go bye-bye. But I will tap it and gnaw. Make another construct, friends. Now there's two of them. Actually, three artifacts now. Hey. Then this goes away. Uh, search your library for an artifact card. I don't know what I have, but I'll go check. Uh, a zero or one, put on some battlefield of shuffle. Then we will resolve the rest. Uh, let's do this one first. That goes to three. Target creature with greatest power gains flying first strike and lifelink. So my little human warrior is now a three, three flying first strike lifelinker. And then choose any number of artifact tokens and or creature tokens you control with different names. And for each of them, create a token that's a copy of them. So I have bump, 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 these three. Thank goodness, I have all these dice from Ultra Pro. I missed a trigger on my turn, but I don't think it Ooh. mattered. Dragon Rage Channeler triggered when I cast the Imperial Seal to surveil, but because oh, yes. I was going to tutor anyway, I just we can just say that I put it back on top. Cool. It doesn't, it doesn't actually matter. Sweet. So then that goes bye bye. I need to go look for an artifact. So I'm not sure what's in here. Maybe there's a soul ring. Yeah, usually Soul Ring. Or Skull Clamp would be real good right now. Yeah. Soul Ring, Skull Clamp. My personal favorite is Failure to Find. I think that makes oh, yeah. the game I love, way more I exciting. love a good Fail to Find. <laughs> yeah, I do too. <laughs> ah, Soul Ring. There we go. Oop. So my constructs are getting pretty uh, chunky. They're fours now. Seen bigger. Yeah. Jeez, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad because I don't have any uh, sagas now, but I do have well, chunky boys. We also don't want things to die because Grave Pact is rude. <laughs> we don't want Olivia's things to die. Okay. Yeah, it's just mine. If anybody else's stuff dies, nothing nothing changes. It's only mine. So if Lily goes, you all have to sacrifice creature. But okay. if Lily stays, no no problem. I don't nothing like happens. this. Okay. I do have an unblockable, but uh, you may remove a counter. Just just peck. Just, just peck you. Just, just for one. And I do have a flyer as well, so ha! I'm going to send my flying human at you, Olivia. And me? Okay. Yeah. And my little In one response. One. Oh, no. That's all. I'll take the damage. <laughs> <laughs> so it's four then. Dunk. I'll gain three life. All right. Well, then play Temple Garden tapped and use white, whatever, whatever. Well, colorless. And I'm going to idyllic two turn and go see what is in this deck. I'm going to go find an enchantment. It's going to be a saga because now I get to do fun stuff. Nice. That's my turn. That means it's my turn. I'll draw. I will play Swamp for turn. Are you sensing a theme with the lands? In my <laughs> Ryan viscerally recoils when I play this deck against him. <laughs> He's just like, I can't look at your land base. I'm like, that's not I run <laughs> one, one white bordered swamp in here just to further upset him. And it's oh, so hurts. great. Oh, it's so good. I'm all about the land station basics. I bought a land station from Ultra Pro. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I like land stations. I think they're fun. I will Cabal Coffers for four, five, six. I will play Relentless Dead and Ghoul Caller Gisa. I am a problem. At least <laughs> next turn. I will pass. Non tap. I'll take two off the Mana Vault in my upkeep whenever it happens. Then I'll draw this card that I happened to put there earlier. I'm going to play an Ancient Tomb as my land for turn. 
which also interacts unfavorably with Torwapi. <laughs> Then I'm going to tap the Ancient Tomb. That'll deal three damage to me. Uh, with one colorless floating, I'll cast Pyrite Spellbomb. And with the floating colorless, I'm going to equip Explorer's Scope onto Torwaki. Hmm. Oh, actually, I guess before I do that, uh, Trigger Surveil. So I'll look at the top card of my library. And I'm going to put it in my graveyard. It's a Mouth of Ronum. Then I'll use my one colorless floating to equip Torwaki with Explorer's Scope. Uh, this one is actually really cool. I, I, I've come to really like this card. This is whenever equipped creature attacks, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land, you may put it onto the battlefield tapped. Chase, what kind of what kind of beef you got on the field right now? You got um, a toothy um, and a season? <laughs> well, first of all, uh, I'm a vegetarian, so I'm not scared of you. Um, second of all, I have toothy and sisse, um, a figment of her imagination, and my kingdom for a green mana. Please leave me alone. Did I tell you that you look so beautiful and Canadian today? <laughs> how how big is how big is to say? Just a three three, just a humble three three. A humble three three. Yeah. You probably don't want to trade for my Torwaki, right? No, I don't. But please, it's just three damage. I just want to land. That's all. I, I have want. a wife and kids. <laughs> please, I have a family. I have a family. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm going to attack you on the condition that you don't block. Yeah. And and in exchange, I will point what I'm going to do in my post-combat main phase elsewhere. I mean, that sounds like you're just pointing a gun at me, but I'm going to kill I mean, I am. Um, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take that it. That is accurate. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to move to combat. I will... Uh, I fetch this, just so everyone knows. Jugan defends the temple. Defends the temple? Cool. Mm. Okay, uh, yeah, three damage at chase. Yeah, I'll take it. It's sad. Okay. And that'll gain me three life off the lifelink. It triggers Explorer's Scope, and I'll reveal the top card of my library. It is not a land... Uh, I guess I can only look at it. I don't reveal it. You guys didn't see that. I actually saw nothing. Read, so. I didn't <laughs> look Man. actually at all. Oh, I know Olivia loves this card. Should I just do this? I know Olivia loves this card. Is it okay. old Nawbone? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I'm going to pay one red and cast Desperate Gambit. So this is a weird card. It says, choose a source I control, then flip a coin. If I win the flip, the source deals double damage the next time it deals damage. And if I lose the flip, it deals no damage. The, Why the do next I time. love this card? Uh, because uh, last time I uh, wiped your board with it, with, I believe sure it was Electricery. <laughs> yes, that is correct. <laughs> the source that I'm going to choose is Torwaki. I guess before I resolve this, I should resolve the Dragon's Rage Channeler trigger. And I'm going to put the card in my graveyard. It's a Rite of Flame. So I am going to choose Torwaki as my source. I'll flip a coin. Oh, I guess I should also resolve my Torwaki trigger. Um, <laughs> I mean. So I'm going to deal two damage to, let's say, Liliana. Okay. So she'll be at 2-1. Yeah, two damage marked. And uh, I'll gain two life off of the Torwaki trigger. Now I'll resolve Desperate Gambit. So let's say that the Spike logo is uh, I win the flip. And what's up, Spikes, is I lose the flip. Okay, so I win the flip. Torwaki now deals double damage the next time it deals damage. Now, I'm going to cast Grizzly Sigil. I'm going to target Liliana. I have Torwaki and Dragon Rage Channeler triggers. I'll resolve the Dragon Rage Channeler first. I'm going to leave that on top. The Torwaki trigger, I will point at Olivia's face Smart. for four damage with lifelink. Then... The Grizzly Sigil, uh, this is one of the Draft Chaff ones. <laughs> yeah, what does that do? From Nuka Penna. It's got Casualty 1. I'm not going to cast for its Casualty, but I choose Target Creature or Planeswalker. If it was dealt non-combat damage this turn, Grizzly Sigil deals 3 damage to it, and yes. I gain 3 life. Otherwise, Grizzly Sigil deals 1 damage to it, and I gain 1 life. Yes. So, uh, Torwaki adds 1 to it, so I'm going to deal 4 damage to Liliana and gain <laughs> 3 life off of the Grizzly Sigil. Okay, everybody sacrifices a creature. Yes, I will sacrifice my Dragon's Rage channel. Great pact is everybody? Yep. Yes. Never mind, Jim. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sad. I don't get any card draw off of Toothy. Remember, everybody, we changed the rules in Commander not long ago that Commanders do hit the yard before you put them in the zone, if you so choose. Yes. So that is why that's happening for all the people that are like, what? You put her in the command zone. Technically, then, she's going to hit the yard first. I get the death trigger, and then she'll go into the command zone. That's it for me. I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Also, I'm hellbent. Right, Jim? That's what we did with the rules? Yes. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> I heard I heard from some reputable people that you don't know what you're talking about. So I don't know. Too. You gotta take that with a grain of salt. I am really struggling over here. Um, I need a green source real bad because everything in my hand I cannot play. Um, <laughs> sorry, Jake. You're okay. Okay, I'm just so sad right now. I wanna <laughs> I wanna rob dunking on me for sport. <laughs> I just wanna rob Jim. Jim, how big is your commander? It's a 3-3, three, three, but don't worry about it. No, it's okay. <laughs> um, one, two, three. And as an additional cost, I'm going to pay four life. And I'm going to play Fire Covenant. Oh, What's that? And how, how much life? You're paying four life? Four life. Okay. I'm going to deal three to Torwaki and one to that creepy bug alias oh, okay. what's my little yeah. my feral I don't I don't want it to touch me it won't <laughs> it won't go at you don't kill it I need okay, to do but... the thing once just just once Alien, so I'm lucky. so susceptible to peer pressure it's not even funny um, ready set don't do it Chase oh, just, uh, it, I'm, I, Alien I'm committing to the bit I'm sorry don't hate me it's Bye, dead bug <laughs> like has been squashed. Did I just cast an instant at sorcery speed? Yes, that's all I know how to do. I Listen, can't like, anybody no. that gives you sh so what? Who cares? Yeah. I do that all the time. I'm gonna move to combat. I'm gonna swing two at Jim because I'm very sad. What? I don't have a green source and you're at 45. You're sure you want to do that? Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> you have no mana and you're hellbent. <laughs> yeah. Sure you want to do but, that? But, <laughs> but counter <laughs> offer. Counter offer, <laughs> yeah. Look at that face. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. I'll take two. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. I'll move to sadness and I'm going to pass. <laughs> oh, no. I will untap. Play Palooza Delta. I'll pay one life and go find. Let's go get an Island. Hello, Fountain. I will shock it in. I remember why I, I don't like playing fetches. It's not because they're expensive, because this takes too freaking long. Brian has been working on me with the whole, or like not working on me with it, but like making me see how nice it can be to not tutor or fetch in Commander because it's yeah. so much time added to turn. This wasn't Unfinity. This was uh, Misty Boosties where it they have something that makes land tokens and they just had that most recent one in Brothers War that makes Dryad Arbors. Yeah, 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 I think yeah, that yeah. that is excellent design. I yeah. would love for them to do land tokens instead of fetch whatever. Yeah. yeah, those are sweet. I'm gonna pay one, two, and a green for Jugen or Yugen. I don't know how to say this. Defend the temple. I will create a one-one human that adds green for me. Sorry, Chase. Don't mean to rub it in your face or anything. I will put a one-one counter on up to two dudes, and I will then exile this and bring it back transformed, and it becomes a nice big dragon for me. Oh, and please play Abby Maya. Okay, Chase. Okay. On my turn, mm -hmm. you're gonna be happy with what I do on my turn. Uh, I'm going to do it despite the fact that you attacked me last turn. You're in Rakdos. What can you do? I can do lots of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I said it earlier, but you have no idea how high I can fly. Jim, your, your deck's one mana value. <laughs> All of it. I told you. It's, there's a 50-50 chance this will either be absolute dog or one of the best spells in the history of the game. It's an even split and there's nothing in between. <laughs> well, that's pretty amazing, actually. I like those odds. <laughs> Jim sounds like he's causing problems on purpose. Jim does. Have some friends. Oh, I love that. This is a lot. It is a lot. So that's 12, 14, 16? But then that brings you wow. into the, 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 I don't know, maybe that's too much. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> in, in, in keeping with being tapped out and hellbent, I will go to 27. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Just a little love punch. <laughs> <laughs> it's t love tap. That'll be my turn. Okay. Play a swamp. Ace will hate me though. You're gonna hurt me. <laughs> I don't have. I need. I'm not gonna hurt you the way that you expect. Oh, that's worse. I'm gonna make everybody really upset with me if I play this. I might just wait. I've heard this before. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you the way that you expect. It's just yeah. going to be deep-seated psychological damage. Yeah. That's, the, that's actually the kind I do expect. <laughs> that's the kind I do expect. Undermine yeah. my confidence. Please. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting you to be terrible. She's Hitting me like, will do nothing. <laughs> Ooh, BB, tell me how my friends don't respect me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Tell me that you hate that outfit I wear, but you like it on someone oh else. God. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, in that case, I might as well go for it, right? Yeah, uh, it's okay. I can actually, okay. I deserve hey. it. Yeah. You can't hurt us as much as we hurt ourselves. <laughs> yeah. uh. Oh no. Wow. I'm only now just appreciating how messed up your lands are. <laughs> They're not messed up at all. What the f are you talking about? These are beautiful. I am celebrating the diversity of swamps. Messed up. Now I'm definitely playing this. Uh huh. <laughs> wizard uh. plays exactly the swamps that she. Contamination? What's that? <laughs> contamination is fun. Uh, during your upkeep, <laughs> sacrifice a creature or sacrifice contamination. Uh, whenever a land is tapped for mana, it produces swamp instead of the normal type and amount. Is that us too? Are you just color screwing us? I can't. I, can't play. Play. I don't do this, and I do this <laughs> unwillingly. I'm mana draining that. Okay. No. Oh. oh my okay. god! Suddenly, it's I, okay. feel I feel confident. Ace, I'm, I'm giving you a gift on my turn. I promise you. <laughs> Is it another contamination? Uh, that's fine. I'll coffers bring back Liliana. That's what one, two, three, Jim, four, I hope five. So I actually have. Look, it's a blood one, moon, but one we don't up. have to talk about it. Jim, that's yeah. Give. Blood Moon is worth three. three. I, can't I, was even, to say, I can't even play it in this deck. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't, don't mansplain Blood Moon to me. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to. Oh, see, but this is worse too. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Uh, Chase, I'm really sorry. No, please. Why are you bullying Chase? I, no, it's fine. I can make you sorry at instant speed. It's no big deal. Uh, I will. I've also heard that before. <laughs> no, I have to do it now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to pay the black to sacrifice Relentless Dead. I'm going to pay the one to put it back in my hand. Oh. I will get two, two, two zombies. And a grave pack trigger. And a grave pack trigger. No. So now we make, we make Saki Saki. Ma'am? <laughs> sacrifice. <laughs> uh huh. I'm so sorry, Chase. I mean, it wasn't it, directed at you. It was just trying. I'm just trying to use my mana wisely and have value. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just want green mana. So oh, sweetheart, I know. I, I know. I apologize. You can at least tap for it if you draw it. I'm done. I'll pass. <sighs> okay. We're not into that. I can't believe I made Ailey use a counter spell. Uh, I'm gonna I take too would like damage. to participate in magic. <laughs> one damage off my mana vault. No, okay, no. Chase. <laughs> yeah. I want you to remember this. Yeah. For later. Okay. I would like to cast Steaming Symmetry. Oh. What does it do? I can't. Oh, you, get, uh, you get to draw things together. Yeah, so we, Friends. we each search for a card, put it on top of our libraries. Or sorry, I, shuffle first, then put it on top. Am I about to Scheming Symmetry for basic land? Probably. Yeah, I mean, it's Listen, we've all been there. Yeah. I did it on game nights, for God's sake. Yeah. I tutored <laughs> for mana. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Do we need to grab here? I was focusing too much on Chase getting their forest that yeah. I wasn't thinking about what I was going to get. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Jim. I, I love and appreciate you. <laughs> Ooh, do I not own a breeding pool? That hurts for me. Hey, Chase. Yes. Here's the breeding pool. That is, that is, that is a limited edition breeding pool if I've ever seen one. I think. Oh, wait. Can I? One, two, three, four. No, be smart, Chase. No, be stupid. Be stupid. No, be smart. Be stupid. Oh my God. I'm going to be stupid. Jim, if you make me mill, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Winds of Abandon. Everybody mill too. Let's go. Rude. Yeah, I need to stop tapping this ancient tomb for mana now that I'm at 26. Yeah, no, that going. sounds like a good idea. I love and appreciate you, Jim. Thank you. I hate mm -hmm. from the bottom of my heart. I needed to choose somebody. I'm gonna re <laughs> I'm gonna resolve scheming symmetry. I've also heard that before. Jim. <laughs> I'm gonna stop over there. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so I'm putting this card on top. I'm gonna tap the ancient tomb, taking two. I'm gonna crack my spell bomb to draw a card, floating one mana, and then I'm gonna use that one mana to cast this soul ring. Then I'm gonna tap the soul ring in my seer step pathway to put Obosh into my hand from my <gasps> companion area. Friend. And then that's it for me. I'm just gonna pass. Obosh doubles. Obosh doubles all damage from odd mana sources. 
Oh, good. Everything costs one. I'm going to play Chromatic Lantern. Lamp! Which is Ooh, hey. what I hey. That's what I searched hey. for. I'm like, that feels better. That feels a little yeah. nicer. Yeah, there you go. Um, that's exactly what you need when you need it. One, two, three, four. I'm so scared of Olivia. I'm minding my own business. You you sacked things, in, which made me sack in things. In my graveyard, thriving. Yeah, <laughs> but like... I don't like this. I don't see a single shrine in this game. You can't pull that. I'm a humble I shrine. Said, I did not culture. say it was a humble shrine farmer. I said I was in a graveyard thriving. Look at me. I'm in a swamp. You can't see my bird, <laughs> but he's right there. What are what are the mana values of artifacts on board out of curiosity for no reason whatsoever? Ooh. I have three one drops, Chase. Do not Zero do this to me. <laughs> do I'm not, not gonna, do this to me. I'm not, not going to hurt you, Jim. I'm not going to hurt you. Okay. 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 Um, I'm afraid <laughs> if I do this, Olivia's gonna hurt me. No, it's okay. It's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap two whatever because of chromatic lantern. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not because <laughs> no. since it's sorcery speed, it's. <laughs> I'm trying to be a better player. I'm just That's gonna overrated. hold up my mana and be super intimidating. Oh, good. <laughs> which is what I'm, which is what I'm known for, <laughs> intimidation. I'm I personally am very intimidated by someone who constantly succumbs to peer pressure. <laughs> I know. it's <laughs> when I don't, you're going to be surprised one of these days. <laughs> one of these days, you're right. I will be surprised. Yeah. I don't need to exert peer pressure because Chase and I have formed a strong social bond this game. <laughs> <laughs> we have indeed. Done all the draw things. Now I go do, 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 and I will put counters on. Let's just keep making you bigger. You bigger. How's that? Good. Nice. I'm going to pay Black Mana for a Thrall Parasite. This guy has Extort. So whenever I cast a spell, I can pay Black Mana or White Mana, and uh, each opponent loses a life, and I gain life. Well, I gain that much life that is lost, which is cool. Pay two life, remove a counter from target non and permanent. Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! So you got oh. rid of my little bug boy, but now you have to deal with that, Chase. I hope you're happy. Okay, well, I just wanted to kill the bug because it was a bug. I, I won't, I won't hurt you anymore. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> it was a principal thing. <laughs> that's that's fair. Green and white for Sterling Grove. I'll get an extort hey. trigger, and I will pay the white mana to ding you all for one, and I will gain three. Sterling Grove. Other enchantments you control have shrouds, so I can't touch any of my enchantments. Wait. It does. It totally does. Because I can't target it. So I'm going to play that and sacrifice it straight away because I want to be able to. I was to... going to say, I was like, I think that's the non bow with your counter stuff. It is a little <laughs> bit, yeah. I was like, but yeah. I need to target. So Understood. I will sack Sterling Grove and I will search for an enchantment, reveal it, and put it on top of my library. So I'll do that eventually. I. Uh, Olivia, what are you doing? That's stuff me. I'll just block it. They'll die. There? What are you doing over there? What do you got? I'm, I'm just, I'm practicing my necromancy. Okay. I'm deadlifting. Do your necromancy things block? They're not decayed. They're blockers. Okay. They're two tutus, so right? So I'll let them die. So I'll let them die and then grave pack triggers. Worth and it. then everyone at the table is mad at me. But you guys have no creatures right yep. now. So only not I can We have no creatures. Yeah, There's yeah. No downside. So now's you a good time gonna, to go. You're going you're gonna to start hosing your board is what's going to happen. You're going to be. You're going to have to sacrifice equivalent. The, yeah. the problem is the ghoul caller Gisa is going to make more and more and more creatures. Yeah. Right? yeah. Correct. <laughs> so I need to fly over and hit you. Okay. I'm not attacking this turn. I'm going to go find a thing okay. that I can deal with ghoul caller Gisa with. So. Okay. On your end step. Oh wait, wait. <gasps> I had like a <gasps> kind of extra oh, weight. Okay. Sorry. No. Something else happened too. <laughs> Yeah. Everyone's got stuff going on. I had this yeah. three mana floating from your poopy thingamajig, but the things I paid sure. all had colored mana in it, so they go away because I can't do anything with it. Okay. All right. Additionally, Farts. this will also have changed nothing because I, my punishment is that I don't get to tick her up. Uh, when Relentless Dead died, that's a non token creature. Oh, yeah. So Lily would have seen it flip to Liliana. So that's that. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> all right. On, your, on, on, on Alien. On Alien's end step. step. Yeah, I'm going to artifact mutation your jet medallion. Okay, Smart. into what? It's just going to get destroyed, and I'm going to get sapperlings. You get sapperlings, okay. Yeah. I can't find my sapperling token, so we're going to use these clowns. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out there were clowns inside that jet medallion. Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> I got clowns. Purest dark energy inside clowns. <laughs> Gucci? 
Yep, that's it. All right, cool. All right. Let me show you what I am fetching and revealing, because it may affect what you do on your turn. Okay. Elspeth conquers death. That definitely yep. affects what I do on my turn. You all get swamps. You're welcome. I'm going to make everybody discard. Uh, <laughs> I'm hellbent. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm goodbye. discarding this unholy grotto. I'll goodbye, get it. Goodbye, Obosh. Okay, okay. Obosh. Hand. You're discarding Obosh, so that means I get another zombie. Chase? Here. <laughs> Present. Uh, <laughs> what did you discard? Oh, I, I discarded here. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, here, literally. Yeah, here. I, I thought you here. said here. <laughs> no. I was like, okay. Chase present. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> no, that wasn't. What's the waste not count at? We got uh, two yays, one nay, and one abstain. <laughs> <laughs> and would you get? Would you discard, Ailey? I'm handless. Nothing. I have nothing. Oh, okay. You had nothing to discard. Okay, cool. So I got two more zombies from it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, <gasps> geese is too busted. Yep. The value. <laughs> so I will cast Relentless Dead with two of the Black Mana, which is uh, 07 now because Cabal Coffers is also a swamp. Damn. So with two of it, I will play Relentless Dead. I will use another one to sacrifice Relentless Dead, give me two more, two, two zombies. I will pay another one to return it to my hand and the last of it to play it back out which also still leaves me with one mana. But I am also now Hellman. And everybody sacks a creature from Relentless Dead. My getting, clowns. Getting bonked. Oh no. That was a that was a fun little little trick. I'll pass. Okay. I'm gonna untap. In my upkeep, I'm going to take two to untap the mana vault to sort of stem the bleeding, I guess. Draw a card. Get rid of the untap. grave pact, please. I I am a hellbent Rakdos deck. <laughs> there are so many reasons why I can't do that. Yeah, I'll just play the Snow Covered Swamp and I will pass. Alright, draw for turn. Oh my god, this would have been so great if it literally says uh anything else on the card. Uh that would be so sick. Tapping Same. three whatever. Mike the dungeon master. What is yeah. he doing? I can tap two and tap him. Choose target creature card in my graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn and return it to the battlefield tapped. Okay. And then I'm going to tap one blue, two colorless, and a blue, and we have one colorless floating, and we're going to play Kira, Great Glass Spinner. Little rotisserie chicken-shaped boy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it says, um, creatures I control say, whenever this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability, for the first time each turn, counter that spell or ability. Oh, nice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass. I will untap. I wonder what I will draw. I'm not going to pay to remove a counter. I'm going to let it do its flippity flop. So Jugan becomes a remnant of the rising star. It's a 2 2 dragon bro flies. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay X when you do, but X will encounters on that creature. Oh, that's nice. Wow. As long as you control five or more modified creatures, this has plus five, plus five, and tramp. Gotta put some more counters on things then. I can only do one thing, and you know exactly what that thing is. Now, I ask the table. Grave Pact is four mana, right? Correct. Yeah. So I can either get rid of Grave Pact or Gisa. What's the bigger issue? A uh, Grave Pact. I think it's controlling the board a lot. Yeah, I think so. The the creatures themselves are not a huge problem if we're not if we're if able you're to not develop forced. a board yeah. presence. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right, I I'm gonna exile your Grave your... Pact, please, friend. Yes. Ailey, thank you. <laughs> Oh no! The camera froze. Oh no! I watched me put that grave pact away, and nothing happened. Okay, so I, I just have a rules question. Are you fixing that quick? So if I take the counter off of this, does it ever trigger Chapter One again? Yes. I can just keep exiling things. Yeah. I think hey so. friends, that's not good either. <laughs> what's What's not good either? I have, nothing that's, I have nothing that's worth exiling. <laughs> Speak for yourself. You say that, but... <laughs> Listen, Joke's it has to be three or greater. or Jim is fine. <laughs> my grandfather's deck plays no good cards. <laughs> <laughs> and my stuff gets countered uh, with Kira, so yeah. I'm fine. Yeah, actually. Olivia, you are yeah. the only one that can target. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's fine. Mm, we, got, we got stuff we can do. Okay. What did I say? Did I tapped things? 
No, like you said I, I did all this. Got rid of you. Got rid of grave pact. Grave and now pact. it's my turn. Yeah, it's your I think, turn. I, I think we didn't get you removing the grave pact. Uh, yeah, okay. we did. So That's what it was. Okay. That. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I can still attack things. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, except for the fact that you already passed the turn and we were done. That would be improved. <laughs> I did not. This is my first main face. Anyway, grave pact is dealt with. Yay! So we don't need to sack things yeah. when shit dies. But Gisa still makes dudes when your stuff dies, right? Uh, no. I have to pay, tap, and sacrifice something, and then she makes two two zombies equal to the sacrifice creature's power. I don't have a lot of motivation to do it now that grave pact's gone. So okay. How are you still at oh. 40? What the f- Me? Because I have guys. Yes, you. They, they're keeping me safe. Well, they're not going to for long. I will wait until I have a big fat flyer to fling at Olivia, and then I will sing it. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this top deck. Huh. Well, then. Is it a living death? It is not. Oh. Huh. Plus, I'd lose all the zombies. What good is that? I'll tap three to... Play a Yara, first of Lockwain. Mm. Oh no. Oh yes. Who has cards in hand? Help me. I have cards in hand. Is Ailey? I think she's bent. I believe Ailey is also a hell bent. Okay. I'll wait until um returns. Never turned. Okay, we good? Do you have cards in hand? Me, no. Oh, that's not very fun. Face, I'm sorry? <laughs> oh no, no, not again, not again, not at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, if I take Lily up, that's all it does, is it makes you discard. Oh, well, that's okay. Like, I thought you were going to, like, make me, like, chuck a whole hand or whatever. If oh, it's just God, no, 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 I'll no. Live. Yeah, I'll no, live. it's just one. I'm just, I, well. I'll be sad gonna, about it, but I'll live. She's going to try, Lily, Ailey's going to try to kill her, and, yeah, just let me know what you discard. Okay, I am discarding this here Vandal Blast. I get to draw a card. Thanks, Chase. You're welcome. <laughs> Tap coffers. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will play a species specialist. When it ETBs, choose a creature type. Zombie. Whenever a creature of the chosen type dies, I can draw a card. So I have three mana remaining. I'll tap Gisa. I'll sacrifice the zombie. I'll make two more zombies. No What's grave pack. What's loyalty right now? She's at seven. Interesting. Okay. Species specialist. We'll see a zombie die. I'll draw a card. I'll play Jadar. Ghoul Call of Nephalia. If I don't have any creatures with Decayed, I'll make a zombie with Decayed. Also, three black creatures have entered. A Yara will ping all of you for three. I'll gain three. Oh, she arrived. Hello, Yara. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And then no attacks on my end step. I will get a Decayed zombie. That's one more black creature ET being. Ding. I'll lose one. Ding one more time. I will gain one more. And then I'll pass. Hmm. I'll jab. Zombies. I'll draw a card. Let's go homeward path. That's five, six, seven. I'll take two damage and cast Torwaki, and then equip the Explorer's Scope to it. And then that's it for me. I'll pass. All right. Draw for turn. Oh, that would have been cool. Never at all, ever. I am going to tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to play a uh, Gisela Blade of Gold Knight. Nice. Whoa. We got we got a baby on the battlefield. He's in his rocker. Thank you very much. <laughs> Moving to combat is a thing I should do cuz I have a flyer. You do. Ailey has a flyer. Go birds, go. She does. I'm going to swing four in the air at Liliana. Yep. She'll do eight then. Oh no, no, it, it's it's already doubled. 2 to 4. Two, two. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, 2 to 4. Yeah, you're good. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Uh she's down to 3 loyalty. Huzzah! Okay, uh, that is it. Saying go. Upkeep, I would like to A, two life, and remove a counter from Elspeth Conquer's death. I've drawn my card. Oh, hi. Post draw, I will exile target permanent and opponent controls. I would like to exile Gisa, please. You should exile Aurelia. Smart. Uh, it'll but, be countered if you if you target yeah, my true. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I want Gisa to go away. It's the blue rotisserie chicken, baby. <laughs> go, go, chicken. I think that we should play a Traxa. Nice and big and chunky. So, Flying Vigi, Death Touch, just basically a middle finger to everyone and everything at the beginning of your end step. Proliferate. Not what I want to be doing, but, you know, we'll 
figure it out as we go. But the reason I did that is because I want to do Remnant of the Rising Star. I want to put counters on that creature. As long as you control five or more modified, I get plus five, plus five. Trample, I only have one modified right now, but I will pay two, two counters on Atraxa, because why not? Then I'm going to move to combat. Actually, I could pay three. I'm going to do three, the monk as well. And then I'm going to move to combat and Lily's at three. Yeah. Why can't I make you a beggar? Pop you for two in the air. Dunk. Me or her? You're the same person. Uh, the planeswalker. Yes, I understand, but you gotta you gotta clarify. Here. I think yes. I think she'll die, right? Yeah, it doubles. Or, or Gisella. Oh, Gisella, yeah. Or Gisella, yeah. oh, it does. Does that affect everything? Yeah, it's as if a source would yeah. deal. Yeah. Oh. To what? to an opponent of chases. Opponent. Yeah. So not me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was handy. Okay. Good. See, I uh, give. I'm a giver. I just do. I love helping people. Yes. Okay. That will be my turn then. All right. I will attack. I've drawn my card for turn. All right. Let's see if I can pull it off. I'm going to tap a Yara and sacrifice a zombie. BC specialist will see a zombie die. I'll draw a card and a Yara's ability will let me draw a card as well. Good too. Ugh, boo. I'll play a swamp. I will tap five to bring Liliana back as a creature. Y'all will lose a life. I will gain a life. No, coffers taps for eight. Tap coffers to play Grave Titan. It will ETV make two more zombies. That's three more black creatures entering the battlefield. Oh, good. I'll lose three life. I'll gain three life. Yep. Ailey. Yes, my dear. I'm going to swing at you with <laughs> this decayed zombie. Yeah. How many creatures do you have otherwise? I've got three, four, four creatures what, and a track side. And the, what are the constructs? Four fours. Okay. So I'll send this zombie at you and uh, three more for measure. I will block the three Zambos with my three constructs and then I'll block one of the other ones with my seven, seven life linky Atraxa. Okay. So <laughs> four zombies will die. So I'll draw four cards. Mm-hmm. Olivia, it's scary. This will die, but it's going to come back. So I'm just going to put it there right now. I will then pass Decayed Zombie re-ETBs. Mm -hmm. So y'all take one more. I'll gain one. And now I'm done. Okay. <gasps> I'm going to untap. Scary. Okay, here we go. Heart of the cards, chat. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm going to draw chat. a card. I believe in you. This is fine. What are we scared of on Olivia's board right now? Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia. We probably got to get rid of this species specialist, right? Yeah. I mean, I got a pretty big benefit from it already. Ailey's so is also I, Ailey's going to be my problem. So you're welcome to get rid of her because I'm just, you know. Ailey's well, going then, to be your problem. Olivia so I'm not wins. going to get rid of her. Well, here's the deal. I can kill Olivia on my turn. Oh. Oh. So like I'm almost 99% sure I can kill Olivia on my turn. So we kill Chase right now. No. <laughs> because then you win and I'm scared of you. That's hype. Once I do this thing, I don't think I can do it again to either Ailey or Jim. And originally I was going to do it to Ailey, but then Olivia got very What the scary. hell? Do it to Ailey. I'm not scary at all. You are so scary. Oh I'm my just god. You're so scary. No. I'm get going Ailey. to I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Chase, you're never getting invited back if you kill me. If you Please kill Ailey on the other hand, that. you'll be invited all the time. <laughs> Olivia, I have anxiety. You can't do that. Do I not have a say? <laughs> no. All right. I'll play a mountain, which can technically tap for anything. So, alas, I will only be able to kill Olivia because it's, it's just how I'm the cool card works. So, kill Ailey instead. No, because you're scarier than Ailey. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. She can start exiling One, everything two, and has a 7 7 flying Atraxa. Four. Damages have to me, and if she can't destroy my stuff because it gets countered. <laughs> you think she can't do it more than once? <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm going to play Saskia the Unyielding. Oh, good. Yeah. You're yeah. going to choose Ailey. Exactly. That's just like I told you. Good <laughs> Olivia, job, Chase. Don't. I'm so smart. Peer pre <laughs> Wait, no, we foretold this. The day that I would finally stand up to peer pressure is today. It. It's not and today. It's, it's Chase, today. It's, Chase, it's today. Not today. Chase, I need you to know that if you kill Olivia, you have a standing invite to come on the Spike Feeders. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, I'm choosing Olivia. Go to 
the hell, Jim? <laughs> you know what? You don't have a standing invite to anything at my house ever again. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I, I, have, so. own, I have my own studio. So my uh -huh. kid is yeah. laughing at this. The perfect, the perfect angels you can't pet now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move to combat. Definitely. I'm going to swing. We wanted to uh, swing Ailey so bad just to see the betrayal face. <laughs> I'm going to swing seven in the air at Olivia, which will then be double to 14, which will then be quadrupled because of Saskia. Yeah. And that should kill you. Yep. Why would it be? So, oh, right. Just yeah. Because yeah, you take yeah, double damage uh, and then the damage that Saskia deals is doubled as well. Yeah. Oh, right. Because, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because it's just any damage. So it's a lot. It's a lot of damage, as uh, the guy from the flux tape commercials would say. <laughs> it's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Oh, come on, Chase. It's Phil Swift. We both know it's Phil I'm, Swift. Why well, I don't I'm sorry. Watch TV, I didn't. So I don't I didn't, have to <laughs> acknowledge things like that. I didn't want a lore drop here on Phil Swift. Uh, <laughs> Olivia, he cut a boat in half. He cut a boat in half. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. My God, Jim, I know, I know, he, I know he cut a boat in half. <laughs> he did it twice. He did it twice. Yeah, I'm just saying. So is Olivia dead? Yeah. What kind of dumbass question is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking. So Olivia's yeah. dead. Cool. <laughs> and um, let's hey Chase. See. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never again. That's, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is where you say good job. Come on, you got you one shot. Name. That's so Why cool. Would Why would I say good job? Because <laughs> it was, it I'm was playing so, Magic the Gathering. <laughs> it was so cool and unexpected. I'm passing the turn. Okay, I Ailey, mean, what are we going to do about help? Chase? Um, yeah, yeah. You gotta help him. Wait, Leave wait, wait. <laughs> on your end step, I'm going to enlighten Tutor and go find no. something to hopefully help with Chase. Mm, no. <laughs> Every time I come on this show, I do so poorly. I need, oh, I, I need a poop. <laughs> I need a win here. <laughs> and it was so badass the way I murdered you. <laughs> that oh, was I pretty freaking cool. I this up. I wanted to see what was coming up next. I'm sorry. I just, I frisbeed a baby no, 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 in your fine. face. <laughs> <laughs> baby and a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> yeah, baby and a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Chase it's... put the rotisserie chicken in the combat zone and the baby in the oven. <laughs> oh, yo. It, oh, it was going to be so good next turn. Oh, see, I'm glad I did what I did. I was going to draw so many cards. <laughs> oh, my God. Good job, Chase. Hey, Sick. Anyway. EBB, <laughs> death by baby. <laughs> yeah. Proud of you. <laughs> that was a good one, I have found binding the old gods on top. Ooh. What is the thing that makes the ouchies? Because I'm, I'm so Gisela doubles all damage that is not me, yeah. um, and halves it that's dealt to me. And Saskia no longer does the thing because I murdered yeah. Olivia. Chase is scaring me now. Oh, so good. my I... camera froze again. It's perfect. <laughs> oh, well, see, now you're just perma-dead with your arms outstretched. Shambling zombie. Yeah. Check it yeah, out. Yeah, I've got go. four arms. It's very, yeah, you do. <laughs> Untap, upkeep. I'm going to pay two more life to remove the counter off Elspeth Conqueror's death. Counter will come back after my draw. I'll draw my binding. Oh, oh God. Hello, baby. Uh, I'll draw that. Uh, Elspeth Conqueror's death. I'm going to target your big birdie that makes ouchies. It is countered because of Kira. That's fine. It's the first time, right? Yes, it is the first, first time. time. Okay, so I'm going to pay four to binding the old gods and kill it. What does that do? Kills it. <laughs> Destroy target, non and permanent and opponent controls. Uh, second chapter is find a forest, but I'm not going to worry about that. And the last one is gain death touch. I'm not going to worry about that either. I'm going to try and just control the board. I'm going to respond to the trigger. Yeah. With the, the binding of the old gods trigger on the stack. I'm going to cast Lava Dart. What is that? Yes. How, how big is your Thrall, Haley? My Thrall is a 1-1. One, one. It's a 1-1? One, one? Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to cast Lava Dart targeting the Thrall. Okay. It'll deal 2 damage to it. Uh, it also triggers Torwaki, and I'm mm -hmm. going to deal 4 damage to you, Haley. Okay. And I'll gain Thanks. 4 life. Mm -hmm. Then... I'm going to, once Lavadart resolves, I'm going to cast it for its flashback cost, which is sacrificing... Oh, this is not a mountain. Never mind. I'm just going to do it once. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so and then, then... Yeah, and then Giselle it can resolve. Dead. Okay, Giselle is dead. Yes. Damn it. Jim, you're ruining my fun. Oh, it's still my turn. I can do things. Jim, we're ruining yes, my all. fun. <laughs> I'm swinging at you. Atraxa, Flappy Boy. So that's seven, eight, nine. We have a three, three with reach. I'm just swinging everything at you. My monk can oh, hang yeah. back. 
I think I'm I'm very dead there. That's twelve. Let me know um, when you go to your post combat main phase. I get well and step and step. I should say that doesn't inspire a lot of confidence, Chase. Sorry, Jim. <laughs> yeah, I can block one <laughs> thing, but I think I murder you. I'd Sorry. like to. Uh, well, actually, hang on. So Toraki has lifelink. Does that make a difference? You've got. Let me see. Hang on. So 12, there's twelve here. 12, 15, 13, 14, 15, 20, uh, 22, 24, 24. And if I block the Atraxa, that brings it down to 17. I think that, I think I live at one. If I block Atraxa. Well, then I'm sending my monk in too to make you die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I'm dead. All right. Let me go. When you go to your end step. Uh, yes, yeah, I have again. I have no hands. So that is me done. Okay. And I gained I'm, seven. I'm going to tap two, tap Mike, and I'm going to return Gisela to the battlefield tap. Oh, crap. Ah. Wait, wait. wait, hang on a sec. Who am I? Dead. <laughs> You're Lydia. You need Liliana in the middle. <laughs> no. Where's your Lily? Not even a good right, bring copy. Bring a chase. Chat. Jesus. All right. Untap. What am I doing? My best. Uh, <laughs> drop return. That's fun. I'm going to tap three and I'm going to play Miri Weatherlight Duelist. I'll nice. kill it. Do you have any untapped creatures? Just Atraxa. She has VG. Just Atraxa. Does she have Death Just Touch? Just Atraxa. She's got Death she Touch Flying and Left Link as well. 36. Yeah. If I swing all out at you, I don't think that makes me win, right? It'll be only 26. I don't think oh. I can one shot you, so. You don't think you can? I think oh, yeah, because be with the Gisella for yeah, sure. Yeah, damage <laughs> tap to me, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. um, what did I tap three for? Was it Miri? Miri just I'm arrived. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do Miri. Is that okay? Yeah. Can I not do Miri? Can you just pretend that I did not do that? We'll do one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to bring back Sisse, who is currently all of it. So she's a seven, seven. Her Wubergness nice. is at five. Nice. And I'm just going to pass the turn because I'm scared of you. <laughs> okay. I will untap. I will not do any shenanigans with my cute little thrill because somebody killed him. Draw. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, I don't feel bad for you. Yeah. No. <laughs> Thank you. Non-creature spells cost more and I can search for a forest card. Um, do that later. Let's go to the swinging step. So you're, you have a lot on the board, yeah? Do, yeah. Saskia's first strike? Saskia is just vigilance and haste. Oh, uh, okay. Gisela has flying and first strike, though. And she's how big? Uh, she's a 5-5, five, five, but it'll deal double damage to Atraxa, which would be 10-10, ten, ten, yeah. Oh, well, now I'm just SOL, aren't I? Mm. I told you. I told you guys. So, f hmm. So I can't actually punch through. I can't gain life, right? If you swing at me, you'll gain, I think, half life because it'll be da damage would be But if half. it's first strike, if you yeah. first strike me, oh yeah, smack that's attracts, true. I don't get any life. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's enough. All right. I'm going to go for my Hail Mary. You're best the sea god. I'm going to make an 8-8 eight, eight Kraken. I am not going to attack. I'm moving to my end step and I'm going to proliferate all my things. Why not? Why shouldn't I have nice things? What do the rest of the modes say on Kiora? Tap all non-land permanents target opponent controls. They don't untap. Mm, I don't like that. Okay. So I'm going to do that right now because proliferate. Oh, wait, you can do that? Yes. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So they're yes. all tapped right now? Yes, and they don't untap. Okay. I can return a creature card from my graveyard as well, which I think I will do if I have one. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Here, let's bring back my Thrill Boy. He gets a counter on him. Pass to me? Yeah. Yes. Draw for learn. Draw for learn. Um, so <laughs> my mana rocks don't untap, right? Yeah, nothing untaps. Okay. Cool. Uh, Sun Petal Grove. I am going to activate Sisse. I'm going to look for something with mana value six or less and put it onto the battlefield. Genuinely. Is there a secret layer bane of progress? <laughs> there, is, there isn't, but there is something that I... I don't think there is, but there is something that I feel like I can be okay and safe with. So we're just going to There shop. is a Teferi's protection. <laughs> there is a Teferi's protection, but I'm all tapped out. Oh, yes. But I feel like this can protect me, maybe. We're going to get out Michiko Konda, Truth Seeker. Ooh. What does that do? Whenever a source and opponent controls deals damage to me, that player sacrifices a permanent. Rude. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> His reaction there was like. <laughs> <laughs> so if you swing, you're in for a world of hurt, yeah, Sunny. If, if you swing, you better not miss. <laughs> so I have to. Yeah. I have to hit you for forty-four, right? Mm-hmm. To uh, kill you? Yeah. Yes. Hit me for forty-four. Yeah, it might actually have to be more because one rounds down to zero. Yeah, yeah. okay. Ooh, Is that okay. your turn? Sue, scared, terrified, yes, I'm passing the turn. Okay, untap. Upkeep. I'm going to pay two life to remove a counter on that. Mm-hmm. And I will draw. And I will make this tap all your things again and they don't untap. I'm being real rude. You are being real rude, but it's okay. Michiko is here to protect me. I just tapped <laughs> My queen. it. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hang on. That ability sure is a thing. I don't hit you yet. Damn it. <laughs> I need more power. Oh, I'm, just trying my best. I'm just trying my best over here. I have a can-do oh, attitude. Wait, I know how to do it. I know how to do it. <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> that's all you need, really. <laughs> Holy shit, I love it. That's all you need. <laughs> okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move to the end step. If I die to the winner, I have a tiny bit more glory. So I okay. kind of have to for you. Yeah. I'm going to proliferate. I'm going for it. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to gain control of your tapped half damage, double damage lady. Mine now. All right. So you're, you're getting... Oh, wait. No, you can't. Kira no! counters it. No! <laughs> Crap. Let's go. <laughs> Great glass. The turn is yours. Chicken, Punish baby. me. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and they sell that for seven fifty at Costco. Holy. <laughs> seven fifty Canadian. It's only four ninety nine. Yeah, seven fifty oh Canadian. God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my All god. Right. Punish People me. Make you fun don't of me for running it, but still, it's your turn. Go Wait, who it. makes fun of you for running Kira? That card is. I hate Kira. She's it's oppressive. So, I love it. Okay, let's untap my lands. <laughs> Oh my god, draw for turn. <laughs> let's play a land. And let's just say again for something with mana value. Let's <laughs> sticks or less. It has to be a legendary. I think I know what I'm gonna get, but like I'm jellyfish chicken. Whatever the, the hell jellyfish, it is. I'm telling you. I think I'm gonna get Dragon Lord Ojutai. He has hexproof as long as it's untapped. Whenever he deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of my library, put one of them into my hand and the rest on the bottom of my library in any order. I can't do a single thing else to you. Lovingly, so ever so lovingly to you. Untap. Draw. Oh, you're not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you're still tapped, though. I'm still tapped, but I do have two swamps that can tap for anything. Okay. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things I can hit you with. You don't need lands, right? Uh, we will... Cost uh, Birth of the Imperium. I'm going to make a 2 2 Astartes Warrior Bro with Vigilance for each opponent I have. Well, I only have one. Yeah, that would have been useful with people alive. It is going to get counters on it from Jugen. And then I still can't really hit you, so I will move to end step and proliferate. Six. Oh my gosh. Do my stuff untap now? Uh, it does untap now, yes. Ooh, uh, I am going to proliferate my saga, though. I'm going to make you sacrifice a creature. I'm going to sacrifice my one remaining clown that I've held sure. on to for so long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the clownling. Yep. <laughs> what a what a gentle little friend who is no longer with us. All right. Draw for turn. That's sick, I guess. Let's uh, one, two, three, four four and five and let's sisse for something mm-hmm. six or less how m- you have so many blockers over there it's stressful oh okay yeah, yeah we're doing okay. this i'm gonna get empress galena yeah <laughs> love what does she it do? She, she steals legendary blue blue steel legendary not yep. until end of turn forever forever, forever. <laughs> don't worry about it it's chill but we should kill Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Come on, Ailey. I know you want to hit me. Just just move to combat. Do my you best. But do you're it. doing your best to prevent that, sir. So. I am <laughs> trying so hard. <laughs> <laughs> they are absolutely going hard in the paint. <laughs> yep. All right. What am I doing? Let's have one, two, and three. 
and let's play Miri, a uh, weatherlight duelist. Mm -hmm. Go pass the turn. Okay. I feel like we're fencing right now. Like, uh, <laughs> Jim. Jim, are you editing? <laughs> <laughs> I will see what I draw. If I draw absolute butts, then the game is yours, Chase. Mm. Talisman of Progress is not going to do it for me. <laughs> so, yeah, I, you're going to murder me soon. And Jim is very colorful right now. Yeah, he yeah. <laughs> bit. It's all good. Or was it that obvious? Oh, my yes, goodness me. That's why I said, are you editing? Because <laughs> you literally turned green. That's so funny. <laughs> Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> well, I've never seen anyone live through Kiorbes the Sea God, like triggering multiple times. So, Chi Chi. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow. Oh, you did wow. it. What a game. That was terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid fish casserole chicken thing. What's You're in the name? great glass dinner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> At least I died to the winner. And, like, yeah. Fair. <laughs> I know I was salty that Chase Sasuke had me, but I respect the ambition. You and honestly, were scary. I deserved it. <laughs> yeah. That's what yeah. happens when Liliana stops memeing so hard and decides to just be like, or you could just not play anything, because I think this board is mine. Yeah. How does it feel playing a non meme version of that deck? It's really fun. I mean, I. Uh... I, you had to do the contamination thing. It was just going to be bad beats for you guys if it if that had resolved. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's powered any cost. Very Liliana. Yeah. I went, I went full black mage this time. <laughs> you sure did. Oh, I played an icky mana drain. That felt gross. But, yeah, I, I was just like, I would like to continue playing magic, please. But then, no, that, okay, besides no. the glass spinner, that's what really killed me. Not the uh, Not the angel friend. Yeah, Just not being able to do stuff <laughs> and chase through their board is is the brutal. Chase just freaking murdered the problem, which was you, and then mm -hmm. yeah, punished me for I being a dumb dumb. So. And then I told you so. So really, actually, I did still kind of win because I was still right. Yeah. And you died first, which zombies like, so... Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else zombies like? When you click the things that make the dings. Olivia, do the thing. What, they, you already did it. You but, said the you said the line. Oh, you can finish well. it. Okay, well then, click the, I'm not as good as it as you are, but click the things You're to make fine. the things. Go support our sponsors. Go use my code. Get five percent off. It's rad. And then come back and watch this again next week. We keep doing this all over and over again, right? Yeah, crushed it. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you all next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what you're doing.